that. You are going to eat that cat poop. I will not eat cat poop. You will eat cat poop. Ron Burgundy says no. You make a fool of me and everyone here. You put that cat poop in your mouth. No. Yes. No. See. Si. I will not eat cat poop. You will do it immediately. No. You will. Fine, I'll try to eat one. Yeah, get in there. If I take one bite, will you get me a steak? I'll if I take one it. bite of shit, will you bring me a steak? I'll think about it. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to Tactical Newbie, the channel where a newbie like me gets into all things tactical. With the funny movie introductions out of the way, per usual, like we always do, let's get right into today's video. So today's video, I'm going to be bringing back around a segment that I featured a couple weeks ago. That segment, that segment being uh, the uh, Gucci loadout versus the low budget loadout uh, segment. Uh, that specific first segment video, as I say segment like 20 million times, uh, showcased the Pharaoh Concepts Slickster Plate Carrier loadout that I featured on the channel, uh, the Gucci version, and uh, then it compared it to the uh, low budget uh, clone or low budget kind of match, which is the uh, Crydex Lovis Slick Plate Carrier system that I featured in my low budget loadout on the channel. Um, long and short of it is this specific segment though is kind of going to be a little bit of offshoot both uh, at least the, this specific products didn't really have a feature video to showcase within themselves they were just kind of minor uh, I guess additions to um, to other feature videos those feature videos being the uh, Faro Concept Slickster and the low uh, or at least the Crydex uh, low vis plate care system but this specific system again as I'm rambling is basically going to showcase the uh, the um, Spirit of Systems MK4 uh, Microflight uh, Placard with Haley Strategic Flat Pack. So essentially, we kind of got this uh, micro mini rig set up here, and it's going to compare it to the uh, Crydex uh, Crydex Placard, uh, which is a clone of the Microflight within itself. I think they call it the MK3 though, and then uh, the Crydex. Slash, I think this is Crydex, or yeah, Crydex uh, flat pack. Uh, so basically, as you can tell, they're both exact clones of one another. Um, and all things considered, uh, yeah, it's going to be the same, same segment as before. Basically going to feature the Gucci version uh, versus the low budget version. Highlight price points. Um, give basically a full 360 degree view of both products, uh, breakdowns of all the uh, minor components with both, and then also feature a, um, I guess, a fit check of me wearing both said items. So with the rambling out of the way before I mess this up, uh, let's get right into the video and I will see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys, and away we go. So first we'll start off with just kind of an overhead look at the two mini micro chest rigs. A retail price for the Gucci chest rig is $280.85, while the low budget one is $112.39. Uh, roughly you're looking at a difference of about $168 uh, between um, the budget friendly option versus the Gucci option. Um, now we'll get right into taking a look at the uh, Spirit of Systems uh, micro rig um, or chest rig MK4. Um, just kind of give a full 360 degree look at the entire setup. Keep in mind that this being a micro chest rig, it's not going to be at, it's not going to have the same type of bells and whistles as uh, a plate carrier, of, or especially a fully decked out plate carrier within itself. Um, the full intended purpose of obviously a, a mini chest rig within itself is to be kind of light and uh, quick. Um, so obviously the uh, bare essentials of what you have to carry are going to be limited uh, compared to a plate carrier. Now with these two systems obviously being direct clones of one another, or at least the Crydex being a clone of the Spirit of Systems, you're going to see uh, a lot of identification between the setup of the two, but basically the long and short of it is that the placard within itself has uh, three 556 five, uh, magazine slots, obviously to carry 556, uh, five, 30 round 556 five, uh, magazines. You do have the front face overhead pouch, which I just showcased a little bit ago, uh, which you can kind of keep like a mini IFAC or some just mini um, little gears. Uh, or basically anything that you want under the flap to keep itself contained and then to the right of that flap I kind of have open at this point. I'm thinking of sliding in uh, to a uh, nine millimeter uh, pistol 
uh, sleeves um, to basically allocate uh, holding uh, pistol rounds uh, whenever necessary. I think that's what I'm going to basically kind of utilize that kind of open front face pouch for, but um, haven't really uh, gone that route with it yet. Um, but all in all, like I said, there's not really much really to explain with uh, the placard within itself. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moving up to the shoulder straps, you can see that you got the quick clips that uh, clip into the uh, Haley Strategic uh, backpack shoulder pack, uh, shoulder pack uh, straps. Um, and then you have the across chest uh, connecting uh, quick connector as well to kind of keep everything nice and uniform and contained. You have your adjustment straps up at the top with then your little um, uh, slot to be able to run comm lines or radio lines if needed or if a little, um, like basically a little bladder straw for a camelback. Uh, but all in all, like I said, the, the entire design and purpose of this mini chest rig is to kind of uh, create a more streamlined and light uh, loadout. Uh, nothing that's going to hamper you down as much as like a plate carrier uh, loaded out with plates. Moving over to the Crydex uh, clone variation, you can see that there's quite uh, quite a few similarities between this one and uh, the Spirit of Systems. As you can tell, they are direct clones of one another. Uh, same as before, you have the four, uh, four quick clip connections um, for the placard within itself to be able to run obviously four connecting points um, to connect either to a, um, a chest rig uh, setup or obviously to a plate carrier. You do have the front pocket uh, for this specific uh, placard as well. Um, same thing I'm going to design as well with this Crydex version. I'm going to put two 9mm millimeter, millimeter pistol uh, sleeves into the right side of the front pouch. Um, you do also have the uh, basically the 556 five, um, 30 round magazine slots as well to be able to hold three 30 round uh, 556 five, magazines. Uh, these uh, slots or at least the um, the inserts are a little tighter than the Spirit of Systems one, so I'm gonna have to work with these a little bit to try to loosen them up a little bit. Um, in my personal, uh, at least, outlook, I don't think tighter is necessarily worse. I mean, it's just one of those things where it will hold um, the magazine's rounds pretty efficiently and don't have to worry about uh, yard sailing. Uh, the magazines out uh, from doing anything uh, physical in any way whatsoever but I'm definitely gonna have to try to loosen them up a little bit because the retention is a little bit tight and does uh, create a little bit of a slight issue with re-indexing especially the middle slot um, uh, middle slot magazine for re-indexing so you know I want to kind of loosen them up a little bit so that way I have a little bit more smooth of a re-index if ever needed and I don't have to kind of uh, hit the ripcord and try to just eat it or uh, throw it into a dump pouch. All in all, as I kind of emphasized a little bit before, the entire configuration of the setup is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Haley Strategic and uh, Spirit of System setup. Uh, everything is, as, as it pertains to the quick clips for the uh, backpack shoulder straps, the crossbody uh, quick clip connection slash strap, adjustable uh, uh, hook and loop Velcro um, shoulder straps as well with then um, the bungees on the side to be able to hold a bladder. One of the biggest differences that you'll see is that they do, do have this kind of uh, this kind of hookup setup for the bag within itself to allocate a quick detach type situation if you needed to uh, quickly detach the shoulder pads from the bag within itself. Keep in mind that this specific bag compared to the Haley Strategic uh, Wolf Gray um, flat pack is has uh, molly on the back to allow you to actually molly it onto a plate carrier or onto any other system that you see fit. Um, but all in all, that is probably one of the main differences between the two. Take care of your mother. Stay tough, son. All right, from here, we'll take a more detailed exploration into the differences and similarities between the two flat pack bags. I'm um, kind of taking a look first at the uh, Haley Strategic Flat Pack in Wolf Gray. Um, all in all, it's kind of just the quintessential Haley Strategic Flat Pack. You got a front zipper face uh, slash pocket at the bottom uh, lower portion of the bag. Um, from there, you um, do have the availability to um, basically unzip um, the actual, uh, I guess, outside parameter of that lower bag to be able to pop it out and extend it as needed. Um, so you can kind of decompress the bag within itself to keep it flat and kind of compressed when you want to kind of be a little bit more streamlined. 
but then if you want to carry more items or need to carry more items you can basically extend um, the bag out to be able to hold more bulk items um, so you can see that the extension within the uh, the pockets themselves does extend fairly well all in all and like I said it does at least offer the availability that if needed you can carry more items um, just across the board. Alrighty, from here we will take a look at the uh, primary pouch or primary pocket for the Haley Strategic Flat Pack. As you can tell with uh, opening up the front face, uh, you do have uh, quite a bit of space and room to carry some larger items in the primary flap or the primary bag. Do you have hook and loop uh, style uh, Velcro attachment points on the inseam of both sides of the interior of the bag. Um, and then, of course, the same thing as uh, the lower pocket of the Haley Strategic Flat Pack. The primary bag also does have the availability to extend out to carry more stuff. You do have a, a top zipper as well to be able to install a, a camel back bladder if you needed to, or to be able to slide, um, I think, even a small style uh, plate in there for back protection if you wanted to. Uh, really it's just a matter of uh, your own personal choosing what you decide to do uh, there is no real like any type of um pockets or inseam um things that you can basically have inside the the bag the hook and loop it basically allows the availability for modularity to be able to install any type of interior pockets as long as it has help uh hook and loop velcro but aside from that it is a pretty simplistic bag um in all avenues uh, the only real downside or biggest complaint that I do have with the Haley Strategic bag within itself is that I, I do honestly feel, and this is no shot at Haley Strategic, but I do honestly feel that they price gouge a little bit on the bag within itself. The, the price point of this bag is like $160 to $180 for basically just uh, some sewed on fabric that can extend within itself. I mean, just I, you don't you don't really get much for the bag cons considering how much and how expensive it is. So for all intents and purposes, I do think that Haley Strategic does overprice this bag. Um, it is a nice kind of convenient um, add-on to have, uh, especially on a plate carrier, if you do have the option for hook and loop molly, um, well not hook and loop molly, but just molly to be able to molly onto a plate carrier, but that's the biggest uh, difference with this bag is that uh, the Wolf Grey one does not have back molly. Hi, I'm Dixie. Dixie Normus. I may just be a small town FBI agent slash single mother, but I'm still tough. And sexy. Well, Miss Normus, shall we shag now or shag later? All right, now moving over to the uh, Crydex clone variant of the Spirit of Systems and the Haley Strategic Flat Pack. Um, so, all in all, I mean, I don't want to kind of come off a little redundant and repetitive. But uh, for all intents and purposes, this specific bag is almost exactly the same to the Haley Strategic variant. You do have the front pocket uh, to be able, obviously, to uh, add certain items. Uh, both the bottom front pocket and uh, the, the bigger primary pocket do extend. No different than the Haley Strategic flat back, as you can see, uh, to be able to allocate for more space. Um, but honestly, one of the biggest and best selling points with this specific Crydex flat pack, as opposed to the Haley Strategic, is A, of course, the price for what you pay for. Which, which ranges anywhere from uh, basically $60 for some of the basic colors to as, as high as or expensive as $70 for some of the more uh, specialized colors like Multicam or um, Tiger Stripe or any of those other colors that they might, uh, special colors that they might offer at that specific time. But um, for, for the price alone, you actually get more bag for your buck. Uh, so for essentially the price point of $60 to $70, uh, you almost get the uh, flat pack plus in dimensions 
or the Haley Strategic Flat Pack Plus in dimensions um, than the actual standard flat pack. Uh, this is uh, drastically a lot bigger overall than the standard flat pack. Uh, that's why I said comparatively it is uh, more more of an accurate comparison to flat pack plus. Um, you just have more room and availability to put more items in. Uh, same thing as the Haley Strategic. You do have the hook and loop interior on both sides of the bag for um, obviously modularity to be able to uh, install any type of hook and loop style um, uh, pockets or pouches or anything like that. You do have the insert, back insert for a uh, camelback bladder. Uh, if you wanted to install that or again another um, like a plate for protection um, again the other primary feature that is nice with this specific uh, Crydex variation of uh, the flat pack is that um, it does have uh, molly attachment points on the back face of the bag within itself so you can molly it onto a plate carrier or uh, molly it onto basically anything that has molly and it makes sense to molly on um, now this isn't again saying that the Haley Strategic flat pack, flat pack bags don't have Molly. Um, I just uh, know for a fact that the uh, Wolf Gray variant, uh, they're kind of specialized color, or at least in this specific color. Uh, for some reason, they decided to change up the marketing on this, on the Wolf Gray variant, and uh, basically completely nix the uh, Molly attachment points on the back face of the uh, of the Haley Strategic flat pack when the Wolf Gray. I don't know why, if maybe they were just trying to aim for more of an EDC style uh, carry-on bag, um, but for all intents and purposes, uh, to keep the price point the same as the standard flat pack, but then actually remove and take away certain features that were actually nice to have on the flat pack within itself, uh, just doesn't make any sense to me personally. But uh, looking at the uh, Crydex again, you saw full extension of the primary pocket. Um, like I said, all in all, this bag is just is drastically bigger than uh, the standard Haley Strategic flat pack bag. But aside from that, um, you're basically looking at a direct clone variant of uh, the setup, the Gucci setup of the uh, Spiritus uh, placard with the Haley Strategic flat pack. So all in all, um, they are just, a, they're almost a direct one for one clone of one another. Um, so it's just a good kind of foresight to kind of ha keep an eye on looking down the line. If you want to save uh, basically 168 bucks, uh, it might be a good idea to go with the Crydex. Mike Brander, it is an honor. I have your poster on my wall, but you are way hotter in person. I know. Alrighty, now from here, uh, which is kind of prototypical for the channel, you're kind of going to get a full display slash fit check of how this uh, uh, mini chest rig system fits on my frame. Like I said, all in all, when it comes to the uh, Haley Strategic uh, flat pack uh, within itself, it is a good pack to have. I do personally believe that it is a little bit overpriced. If Haley Strategic does down the line decide to uh, drop the price for the flat pack within itself, I think uh, overall uh, consumers with themselves will probably buy more of them just because of the fact they are a nice, convenient, small mini pack to have. And it is great that it is uh, does offer attachment points for um, uh, chest rig placards to be able to basically create a level of modularity of interchangeability with certain placard styles. Um, and uh, the flat pack within itself does, of course, usually can be cross uniform or cross attached to a plate carrier if not to a chest rig so it just offers a lot of availability um, and modularity to be able to kind of uh, conform the bag to whatever uh, practical setup that you're looking to utilize crying am i crying no i'm not crying you're crying it's okay to cry people cry it's great but i'm not crying i don't i'm not a crier i don't cry i, I you know i work out i have hobbies i don't i don't come here come here, come here. I forgive you, all right? Hey. I forgive you. Okay. Okay, that's probably enough. That's enough. All right? Okay. Okay. Are we good? Alrighty, now from here, again, not to come off a little redundant, but obviously the Crydex uh, setup is exactly the same as the Haley Strategic slash Spirit of Systems. A uh, full 360 degree look of the setup on my frame. Um, as you can tell that the uh, Crydex flat pack is, as I stated before, bigger um, in dimension than uh, the standard Haley Strategic flat pack. So just for this specific instance of a $60 bag, uh, and you get actually more bang for your buck, um, like I stated before, it is a pretty decent alternative. 
uh, if you're looking to save um, some dollars. Quality wise, which I haven't really touched on much of the video, comparatively between these two systems are pretty spot on. Um, like I said, the hard part for this is that in general, like I think a lot of people kind of have that Gucci mindset where they think just because something's high in price that it's high in quality, but that's not necessarily the point, uh, or at least in most instances. I know that there are some really, really dodgy uh, uh, clone gear out on Amazon, but when it comes to some particular gear, like this gear uh, more specifically, um, they're just across the board. Um, it's almost a direct one-for-one one comparison in quality obviously down the line in time will uh, kind of prove uh, how this system uh, basically lasts compared to the Haley strategic and uh, spirit of systems but we'll see how that goes Here's Kevin in fact I've got a tattoo here that fully illustrates my point it's of this rebellious young man and he's urinating on an FM radio and then this other stream of urine is going on to that television set Implausible, I know, but I like to imagine that he had sex the night before, and now a little bit of residue is blocking his urethra, allowing the urine to flow in two separate directions. Alrighty, guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to keep the rambling to a minimum as best as possible, so that way I don't screw this up. But long and short of it is uh, feel free to check down in the description for uh, two very important links, one of which is my Patreon. If you do want to support through the Tactical Newbie channel, please hit that Patreon link and, of course, uh, sign up to my Patreon, uh, in which you would be essentially just giving some patronage, excuse me, patronage to uh, the Tactical Newbie channel to help, of course, the channel grow. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Just want to get that out of the way now. Every like hit every subscribe hit um, for every video across the board it does help with the algorithm gods here at YouTube or there at YouTube, excuse me, um, and helps push this channel forward and hopefully gets it to grow faster. Um, I do have that other link down in the description, which is basically for my Twitter slash X. If you want to kind of uh, partake or at least kind of view some of the stuff that I'm posting, some of the stuff that I'm sharing on Twitter slash X, feel free to hit the link, uh, hit the follow button and, uh, follow me there as well. Uh, but with all the rambling out of the way, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it to the minimum. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week.